Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize the icon bar by adding and removing buttons. To do this, select View from the menu bar and then choose the Customize Icon Bar command to open the Customize Icon Bar window. In the left window pane, you will see all of your current icon bar choices. To add a new one, simply click the Add button at the right side of the window to open the Add Icon Bar Item window. Click the feature for which you would like to add a button from the list of choices shown in the box at the left side of the window. Then from the scroll box to the right, select the icon to represent that function within the icon bar. To the right of that, there are two text boxes where you can edit the button's label and the description displayed within the screen tip for the button. Then click the OK button to add that selected feature to the icon bar. You can then see the new feature appear within the scroll box at the left side of the Customize Icon Bar window. It will also immediately appear within the icon bar as well. Then you can simply click the OK button to close the Customize Icon Bar window. Then you can click on the New button in order to use the newly added feature. To remove a button from the icon bar, once again select View from the menu bar and then choose the Customize Icon Bar command. In the Customize Icon Bar window, select the icon that you would like to remove from the scroll box at the left side, and then simply click the Delete button at the right side of the Customize Icon Bar window. The button should disappear, and you can then simply click the OK button to save your changes. You can also add a button to the icon bar for any screen that is currently displayed in the QuickBooks window. To do this, first open the window for which you want to add an icon bar button, and then select View and choose the Add window name to the icon bar command that appears within the menu bar where window name is the name of the currently opened window. In the dialog box that then appears you can then set the label and icon that you wish to use for that windows button in the icon bar and then click the OK button to add it to the icon bar. This is a handy way to add icons to the icon bar for frequently accessed screens as you are using them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.